Last week was historic for Colorado's own Michaela Onyewede. She became the first ever woman from the state drafted in the first round of the WNBA. And with that, she put her whole family on the map. Nothing prepares you for the moment your life changes. The New York Liberty Select, Michaela Onyewede. It was just so overwhelming, like, but in the best way possible. That's just such, such a huge deal um, to hear your name. It's just a feeling that I can't really even describe. Michaela Onyewede shared the moment with her entire family, and the moment was shared tens of thousands of times. Grandma. And Grandma, Grandma's <laughs> got it. They're very, very excited to be very proud of me. And my grandma went viral. <laughs> the whole situation was just super, super funny. I'm like, that's just, that's just my family. They've always been behind me, always have supported me. You, on Thursday night, made history here in this state. You were the first ever woman drafted from the state of Colorado in the first round of the WNBA draft. It makes me proud to be from Colorado, and I'm glad that I'm able to kind of set the foundation. I hope that the little girls can look up to me and be like, I can do it because she did it, because she went to school just down the street from me. Michaela is first generation American by way of Nigerian parents. Draft night was a celebration for their whole community. Stores like Nigeria is behind you, Africa is behind you, or I'm a little girl from Nigeria and I look up to you and you're an inspiration because I didn't know I could do something like this. But seeing you, a Nigerian woman on TV, and what my grandma did, and it just really did mean so much to a lot of people that I couldn't even really understand until obviously that moment happened. She's grateful to join a league that puts social justice at the forefront of its priorities. Seeing what the WBA players did last year in the bubble was so inspiring. And uh, we saw what was going on in this country, um, the civil unrest, um, the injustices that black people were facing during the time. And to see a league of mostly black women um, step up and really be at the forefront of those initiatives was so inspiring. Grandview is really putting out some top talent. Anya Wade said she used to see top junior prospect Lauren Betts play when she was a very tall little girl and agree that she probably won't be the last Grandview grad to, see, to eventually see the league. And now she's settled into New York. Yeah, exactly. And she's on the same team as last year's top draft pick, Sabrina Unescu. The two used to face off every year in the Pac-12. It's good to be on the right side of that rivalry, though, Jacob. Can I get you to dance like grandma for a sec here? Come uh, on, no, come on, I, I, come would, on. I would never. That would just be disrespectful to her. This is true. Moves. This is true. That was terrible what I just did right there. Thank you, Ariel. Nine News is back right after this.